In 2016, Wojciech Kopecki was working in Doha. The day before his flight back home, he had some free time to explore. He filmed this aspiring Arab metropolis with its futuristic architecture and wants to share his impressions with you. When you arrive in Doha, you can either take a taxi or the metro. If you stay in a hotel in the city center, you can admire the illuminated skyline. When sightseeing, start with the souk for gif, the oldest market in the city. You can take a taxi to get there. They are very cheap in Doha. The futuristic skyscrapers can be viewed up close as you drive by. At the restored Souk Bagif, you find an oriental atmosphere as in the book 1001 Nights. At lunchtime, all shops except restaurants and cafes are closed due to the high temperatures. Many traders offer traditional clothing and handmade items in small alleyways. Some information about Qatar. The state of Qatar is a country in Western Asia. The emirate is located on the northeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. It is the smallest country in the world with an area of 11.5 thousand square kilometers and a population of 2.8 million. The country's terrain is arid desert with a long shoreline of beaches and dunes. Qatar has one of the highest gross domestic products per inhabitant in the world. The country benefits from its enormous natural gas and oil reserves. Tourists and residents can enjoy small cafes, bars, restaurants and shisha lounges. Thank <laughs> you.
We will return in the evening when this quarter will come alive with entertainment. The Doha bus has its station right next to the Souk Wagif, from where you can start your tour of Doha. We are driving past the Al Shiuch Mosque. Camels receive their daily care here. In the evening, we will see the camels again. The journey continues towards the airport, past the newly built National Museum. A visit is worthwhile. On the way back, we make a stop at the Museum of Islamic Art. It is one of the most important museums of Islamic art on the Arabian Peninsula, as well as in the whole world. The museum is located on an artificial island in the western part of the port. Inside, it extends over several floors. From the outside terraces, visitors can see the impressive skyline of Doha. We continue along the beautiful Corniche Beach promenade that stretches over 7 kilometers and has shops, restaurants and cafes for their guests. There is lots of green space that can be enjoyed for walks, sports and picnics. The futuristic skyline of Doha, with its modern architecture, was inspired by Islamic design. And now, some information about the capital Doha. The city has 600,000 inhabitants. With its metropolitan areas, there are almost 950,000. Doha almost reaches the city of Arrayan, 9 kilometers away, where important parts of the oil and fishing industries are located. Doha is also known for its education city, an area for research and education.
The city centre mall in Doha is the most popular shopping mall in Qatar. There is also a multiplex cinema, a bowling alley and an ice rink. One point eight million tourists visit Doha each year. We are passing the cultural village of Katara. The goal of Qatar's largest cultural project is to bring people from different cultures together. You can find traditional architecture, exhibitions, various leisure activities, an opera house and amphitheater, cafes and international food. When building the pearl, an artificially raised peninsula was created off the coast of Doha. The shape of the island looks like a shell. 30,000 people reside here. One interesting fact about this living complex is that there is only one single air conditioning system for all buildings. This corresponds to 130,000 small air conditioning systems. On the way back, we passed the new monument, which will be finished five years later. You can imagine that it is hot here. At 43 degrees Celsius, the city is deserted. From the mid-19th century to the beginning of the 20th century, Qatar was at its peak of the pearl trade. And these boats are not fishing boats, but tour boats. What a lucky day! In the Albida Park, we see the camels again. What we see is postcard worthy. Next stop is Villaggio Mall, Doha's second largest shopping center. 
The Villaggio Mall is easy to find thanks to the large tower in shape of an Olympic torch. The interior of one of the most popular shopping centers was built in Italian style. Visitors can cruise through the Endure Canal in a gondola. A historic event will happen in 2022 when Qatar will host the Soccer World Cup, the first in the Arab world. Stadiums can also be found outside of Doha, as shown on the following map. The Al Bayt Stadium is in the neighboring coastal town of Al Shur and is constructed for 60,000 spectators. The Education City Stadium is 12 kilometers from the center and has room for 40,000 people. The Lusail Iconic Stadium is located in Lusail and has a capacity of 86,250 spectators. This is where the final will be played. The Al Rayyan Stadium is in the city of Arayan and can accommodate 43,000 people. Near the airport, you find the Al Tumama Stadium, which was built for 40,000 spectators. The Al Junoub Stadium is located in the port city of Al Wakra. 40,000 spectators have placed in this one. The Doha Port Stadium, also known as Stadium 974, seats 40,000. Immediately next to the shopping center is the Khalifa International Stadium, which is the only one that has not been newly constructed. It has place for 50,000 spectators. The consumption of alcohol is not allowed in Qatar. Only the more upscale hotels are allowed to sell alcohol. During the World Cup, the drinking of alcohol will be legalized only in fan zones. Since it gets very hot here in the summer, the World Cup was moved to the months of November and December. The games take place in eight air-conditioned stadiums. Now revisiting Souk Bagif. But we get here a little late. The robot just stops. <laughs> Luckily, it starts again further down. Engaging forward thrusters. 
We take a look around what's happening here in the evening. Magicians, as well as artists, come and go. Buying ice cream here is entertainment in itself. You need some patience to get your ice cream. We end our trip here and take in the illuminated Doha. Our day, filled with many impressions, is coming to an end. If you enjoy Wojciech Kupetsky's films, Feel free to subscribe to his channel.